Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss the use of all and whole in this uh, lecture. This lecture is divided into two portions. In first portion, I have given some questions that you have to solve and the answers are also given. And in the second part of this lecture, I will be giving the explanations and the differences between these two terms. So let's get started. Question 1. I spend the blank day working at this problem. So what will be used in this blank? All or whole. I spend the blank day working at this problem. So what will be the answer? So here is the answer. Whole. I spend the whole day working at this problem. So why we are using whole here and not all at the second part of this lecture I will be sharing in this lecture I will be giving the explanations and detail that why we are using whole and why not all here question 2 blank the people voted for industrial action the options are all or whole and the answer is all. All the people voted for industrial action. Question 3. What does she do at office blank day? All day or whole day? Think about the correct answer. And here is it. All. What does she do at office all day? Question 4. Repairing of the car will take the blank day. All or whole? Again, you can pause this video for a while and you can think for the answer. Here is the answer. That is whole. Repairing of the car will take the whole day. Question 5. Did she read the blank book in one day? So what will be in the blank? Did she read the all book or did she read the whole book? Here is the answer. Whole. Did she read the whole book in one day? Question 6. Asim has ignored blank advice he was given. All the advice or the whole advice? Think that what is the correct answer? Here is it. Asim has ignored all the advice he was given. So here the correct answer is all. Question 7. Blank equipment has been carefully tested. The options are all the equipment or the whole equipment. Think about that what is the answer. And here is all the equipment has been carefully tested. Question 8. She spent blank cleaning that room all a day or a whole day? Think. And the answer is that she spent a whole day cleaning that room. Number 9. The Prime Minister's assassination shocked blank world. So what will be the answer? Shocked all world or shocked the whole world or shocked all of the world? Think that what is the answer? And here we go. The whole world. The Prime Minister's assassination shocked the whole world. Number 10. Let's just forget blank thing. Forget the all thing, forget the whole thing, or forget the whole of thing. So think for a while that what is the answer. Okay, here we go. The whole. This is the correct answer here. 
let's just forget the whole thing so these were the 10 questions i hope that you had attempted and you may have counted that how many questions you attempted as right or wrong you can mention them in comments below now let's go for the explanation that where to use all and where to use whole now in this part of the lecture we are giving the details all and whole are determinants all day and the whole week so here all plus noun and whole plus noun so let's uh, think that all the means everything or everyone etc the whole means a complete package group so let's take some examples to make these things clear for example uh, two examples are here the baby cried all the time or the baby cried the whole time so try to understand that what is the difference there is another example i studied all the day and or i studied the whole day now try to understand when we say all day it means that i started study from morning till evening but i was starting then i was stopping taking some rest maybe taking some tea so the inter intervals were there when we use all but when we say the whole day it means without any interval continuous or non-stop so when i say i study the whole day it means right from the morning till evening without any intervention or without any interval continuous so the all duration without any without a stopping so in the first example again the baby cried all the time it means when you were for example you were going for a trip for two three hours that baby was weeping and stopping again weeping and stopping but when we say the baby cried the whole time it means the baby cried a uh, baby started crying and the baby never stopped that was a continuous crying uh, from that baby so i hope the things are getting clear all and whole are very similar in their meanings but they are used in different ways they mean the total number or amount of something let's uh, get the further explanation we usually use all with plural countable nouns and uncountable nouns and we use the whole with singular countable nouns we use the with all and whole this is the definite article the that we use with all and whole always use the after all and before whole so when you are using this definite article it is used after all but when you are using whole then it is used before whole uh, examples are here for example all plus definite article the then noun and when you are using whole then that will be the article first then whole then the pronoun the things are getting simple and the things are getting easy we use all the and not the whole with uncountable nouns so when the nouns are uncountable then we use all the not whole with uncountable nouns for example all the advice we know that advice it is uncountable so we will use all the advice or all the equipment we don't use all before the indefinite indefinite articles a or n for example a whole day but we we will not say all a day so when the indefinite articles are given we will use whole but not all i hope the things are, are clear and thank you very much for watching this lecture and don't forget to give your feedback or if you have more questions you can write them in comments below thank you very much for watching stay blessed and stay safe
Thank you for watching.